So for this video, I want to show you how you can create a fluid domain that can be used in Hyperworks or Altair SimLab or Altair Inspire. And I want to do it from within the Altair Inspire tool. Now, the reason I want to show you this is that creating a fluid cavity and domain for a, a really complex shape in HyperMesh can be a little challenging and mainly because the HyperMesh CFD is so good at the detailing portions of this process, the intricate geometries that often contain small features, gaps, and overlaps have to be really carefully identified and fixed during the geometry cleanup. And even minor inaccuracies in sealing those areas can produce a non-watertight surface, which can make it tough to create a fluid domain from that. So you can do it in HyperMesh CFD, but I want to show you a potentially faster way you can do it in Inspire. And with the Alter Units licensing, anybody who has access to HyperWorks CFD can also use Inspire at no additional cost. So let's look at it. Here in Inspire, let's start with a simple example like this manifold. In both HyperMesh and SimLab and Inspire, for simple geometry, I can use the plug tool, which creates another part that I can identify as a fluid domain. If I go to the Geometry tab, I find the Simplify icon and choose the plug, which looks for holes and pockets, highlights in red, and then I can identify that and hit Apply. And I now have another part that I can save as a parasolid and import it right into HyperMesh or SimLab as a fluid domain, or I can use it right here inside Inspire. But what if I have a more complex part? Like, for example, this heat sink. This heat sink has two different parts, the sink itself and then the enclosure. But you can see when I try to find a cavity using the plug tool, it has a hard time identifying it, mainly because there's not an obvious hole or pocket in this design. Now, since fluids have now been included in the Inspire tool, I come up here to the fluids ribbon, and I can do this another way. I'm going to start by creating a bounding solid. And this is basically saying that these are the parts that are the boundary in which I want to create my fluid domain. And I'll select both parts and hit apply. The material doesn't matter as much with this one, mainly because I'm creating a fluid domain. Next, I'll come up here to the fluid icon. And this small icon at the bottom allows me to create a new fluid domain. When I click on this, you can see it's already identified that I have a bounding solid, so it looks at that cavity within it and creates a fluid domain for me automatically. And once I apply that, you can see a new part is created as a domain. And this part and assembly can now be saved as a parasolid, and I can import it into HyperMesh CFD or SimLab and can be used for a fluid simulation. Now, just to give you an example, I'm here in HyperMesh. I can open this parasol file that I just saved in Inspire. It'll give me a dialog box that I can choose all the different options on import. And then once I'm, that's complete, you'll see, I'm able to see the enclosure, the heat sink itself, and I also have a fluid domain as its own individual part that when I go to run my analysis, I can identify it as my domain. So hopefully this helps with running your CFD simulations and kind of speed up your workflow. If you have any other questions, don't be afraid to reach out to us at www.trueinsight.io.